Hello, this is Jason with Noob Tech channel on YouTube. And I'm here to review the Bodega Norton Reserva Malbec 2018. Now it's from uh, Mendoza, Argentina. It's a pretty good wine. It tastes really good. It says 14.5 alcohol by volume. But somehow I don't believe that. Um, maybe I do believe it because the alcohol, I mean a beer is 4% alcohol by volume. So yeah, I probably believe that. Never mind. Anyway, this is um not one of the cheap bottles of wine. It's probably like... 40 or 50 dollars and it's worth it it's a good bottle of wine you have to let it breathe a little bit but it's got a good flavor it's from argentina i really like the chilean wines also i may uh try some of those and review them uh, malbec is a new type or it's a, not a new type of wine but it's a not a common type of wine um if you want to impress girls uh, you can order one of these and uh, let them know all about Malbec. I haven't looked it up, but let them know that it's common for you to drink Malbec wine. Anyway, um, it's a really good bottle of wine. Highly recommend it. Um, so go ahead and um, buy it and try it and uh, let me know what you think. I like the simple graphics on it. Sometimes they're being the cheap, but here they're being classy. Uh, like this channel and um, follow me on YouTube. And now I want to talk to you about the pandemic and what it has taught us about society and the government. I think it's taught us that, um, okay, right now, this is August the 4th, and um, the government has given everybody one $1,200 stimulus check to stimulate the economy. One. Since... March. That's not going to stimulate the economy very much. It was giving us unemployment, but they let it run out. Uh, the government was um, giving, the federal government was giving unemployment on top of the state government. And it was giving people more money than usually had. Which, to me, that just is proof that the wages have been stagnant for 30 years and that should never happen because inflation keeps going up. So it just makes people poorer. So I kind of think that we need to make the government start working for us again. The poor people, the regular folks, not the rich people. The government should not be for sale. Now, if we want to really hit the uh, Republicans, we can talk about all the... Uh, safeguards in the constitution to keep this kind of thing from happening of course they wouldn't want uh abuse of power because we fled abuse of power from england because of the kings so now we have a government that's bribable and uh, not looking out for the people but are looking out for the corporations and the rich people that's not the way it should be so i think we're realizing that in the pandemic we're able to surface not be so tired from working all the time and start realizing that a lot of things really suck in the pandemic be pre pandemic a lot of things really sucked it shouldn't all be about money the market should not drive anything we should schedule um, productivity and okay right now the income inequality is so off and poor that rich people make so much money, they have so much of the wealth 
a few people have most of the wealth in the United States. So that means that whenever there's a recession, it's because the wealthy people are holding on to their money. No, the poor people, they can't hold on to their money. They have to keep spending their money because they live paycheck to paycheck because they're so poor. And that makes a recession because the ones with all the wealth are the rich people. And they just take their money out of the stock market and don't spend any money. So the economy goes to shit. We need to make something that doesn't do that. We need an economy that does not rely on the rich people to spend money because they don't always spend money. It's all screwed up and we need to fix it. And never go back to the way it was. Never go back to pre-pandemic. I'm going to get a website that says that. Um, we need to teach everybody how much power we have economically. And how to vote economically by... I don't even know what we can do. By, by boycotting large corporations. Only buying mom and pop shop stuff. Uh, buying food from your neighbors. If they could do a good job. With the pandemic, all the small businesses just died. So large corporations and chains are the only thing surviving. And that's the worst kind of society you want. You don't want to go to anywhere in the world and eat Big Macs. You want to eat their local stuff. You want to eat their culture, their feel the people. So, no, never go back to the way it was. It was all fucked up, and we didn't realize it because we were so overworked and underpaid that we're all poor and stressed, and life sucked. So, let's find a way to fix it before we go back to the status quo. Never go back to the status quo. It's terrible. Like this channel, watch my other videos, and give me your opinions if you like what I say or if you think we just vote Trump again for another four years and uh, have him ruin the planet just for money. Capitalism. Yay, it's the best. I realize it's the best thing, but there's still a lot of flaws in it, and we can do something better. Thank you. Have a good night.